Come walk with me. Exercise can reverse the aging process in the brain. The key to defying aging is keeping our minds and bodies active. This is the main idea of thinking on the moon. We are working our brains and our body at the same time, and hopefully we get a synergistic response where one plus one equals three. It also saves us time because we're working both at the same time. And it goes by fast because we're keeping our brains really active. We're gonna start with going side to side, bilateral stimulation, and we're crossing our arms in front of us. This is important, it activates the hemispheres of our brain. By the way, I'm Kim, and thank you for being here. We are better together. We are gonna access our youth now because we wanna access those parts of the brain that haven't been used in a while and just get them moving. So these are some ad slogans from the 1970s. And your job is to figure out who or what the brand or the product was. You deserve a break today. That's McDonald's. How many licks does it take? That was from an owl. It was Tootsie Pop. Hey Mikey, he likes it. That is life cereal. Don't leave home without it. American Express. And I'm stuck on blank because blank is stuck on me. Band-Aid. I'm stuck on Band-Aid because Band-Aid stuck on me. Okay, now we are going to do a deep squat. They are also known as an Asian squat and there's lots of other names as well. Okay, so we're gonna squat down. And this is supposed to be the most anti-aging exercise ever. Normal aging shrinks the brain and exercise and learning grows and strengthens brain cells. So we are learning as we squat. So these could maybe be called brainy squats. We're gonna do songs from the past to activate those parts of our brain. Try to memorize all eight of these songs from the 1980s. Take on me, hungry like the wolf, beat it, Africa, what's love got to do with it, jump, don't stop believing, and girls just want to have fun. Okay, now stand up. All right, now later on in this video, we will come back to that and I'll see if you can remember those eight songs. So we'll do a re squat. We're going to go to hamstring curls now. And this is a creativity activity called What is A? where I give you an object and then we try to think of other possible uses for that object. We'll take turns. So what is a water bottle? Well, it could be a do-it-yourself plant watering can. If you poke holes in the cap and then use it to water your plants. Okay, now you. It could be a homemade bird feeder. If you cut out sections of the bottle. Now you.
a do-it-yourself foam roller, fill it with hot water, and then roll it along your sore muscles for a massage. A phone amplifier. If you put your phone inside of it, the empty bottle to amplify the sound. And a funnel. If you cut off the bottom and then you could use the top as a funnel for pouring liquids into containers. It could be an ice pack. Fill it with water, put it in the freezer. How about a musical instrument? A pet toy? Fill it with treats and then they have to figure out how to get them out. A kazoo. If you cut off the bottom and hum into the opening to create some sounds that might sound like a kazoo. You're doing great. Just keep going. All right, we're gonna switch now to the grapevine. So grapevine is you're crossing one leg behind you, cross behind, step, cross behind, step, cross behind, step. Okay, and you're moving your arms back and forth like this. These are some sensory comparisons. So part of this is the idea of remembering the concepts and then, and, or the memories up in your brain. All right, does silk feel more like a feather or like sandpaper? So what I mean by, so your brain has to think about, okay, what does silk feel like? What does a feather feel like? What does sandpaper feel like? So, and you're kind of engaging the tactile. We're not actually feeling it, or, and not all of these will be tactile. But that's what the idea is. And there's not right or wrong answers here. Does hot chocolate taste more like marshmallows or cinnamon? Does velvet feel more like cotton candy or a smooth stone? Does honey taste more like caramel or lemon? Does an ocean breeze sound more like a gentle whisper or a roaring lion? Does a rose petal feel more like satin or burlap? Does a clown's nose squeak more like a rubber duck or a tiny honking car? All right, way to go. You're doing it. We're doing it here together. So if you like what we're doing here and you want to continue to think on the move and continue to be able to stay active, then please consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. You can just click the link. All right, I'm going to transition into squats where the reason we do squats is because we want to move the blood flow to the brain. And that's one of the things that squats do. And you can move your arms like this, maybe out to the side and then like this. If you have hand weights, it's great to use them. Or you could even use like cans. Those are all good things. I'm gonna order some hand weights or wrist weights so that, cause I still need to be able to hold on to this. Okay. So this is coloring vocabulary. I'm gonna give you a word, 
with the definition, and then I'm going to ask you to imagine that word as a color. It helps to imprint it on your brain. And I choose words that maybe I'm not as familiar with or ones that are new to me. Our first word is prolific, which is producing much fruit or foliage or many offspring. Also just abundance. What color is prolific to you? So again, that is much abundance. Our next word is acrimony, bitterness or ill feeling. What color would that be? Acrimony, bitterness, or ill feeling. Ebulent, cheerful and full of energy. Again, ebulent, cheerful and full of energy. What color is that? While we're squatting also, you can kind of squeeze the buns. That's helpful for our bodies. Okay, ebulent, cheerful and full of energy. What color? And our last word, exacerbate. To make a problem, bad situation, or negative feeling worse. Exacerbate. To make something worse. What color would that be? All right, you're doing great. Let's go to walking in place. We got this. Okay, it's time for us to do our re-squat. We're gonna redo the deep squat and see if you can remember the eight uh, songs, <laughs> the eight songs from earlier. Okay, so we'll do the deep squat. I'll give you time, see if you can remember them. Okay, I'll tell you what they are. Take on me, hungry like the wolf, feed it, Africa, what's love got to do with it? Jump, don't stop believing, and girls just wanna have fun. And it's okay if you didn't remember them all. It's also okay if you didn't get them in the same order. If you did, then I think that is pretty amazing. I cannot get them all in the same order. But if you did, then fantastic. Good for you. It's time for heel digs, where you just put one heel out in front of you. I'll back up so you can see maybe one heel out, but it's it's touching the floor. Okay, and we're gonna do gratitude. So think of things that you are grateful for, and I'll give you time to do this, probably about 30 seconds. And you can also think about why you are grateful for them. Okay, go. Okay, well, make it your mission to do four of these a week. I think you'll see results. You'll feel more energy, more focused, more organized, and feel like you have more knowledge, maybe a little smarter. You did it. Thank you for thinking on the move. And if you like this, then you can do another quick one right now. Just click the link.